every project that I've been involved in, there's some common denominators between them all in the sense that they, I believe, most of them are trying to deliver products that are, that are unique to the marketplace that are not Me Too products, but that see a uh, problem with a very simple solution. The first fairly large startup that I did back in the uh, heyday of the internet, starting back in 1997, was one of the first online calendaring and scheduling applications. We saw a need to basically deliver calendaring and scheduling to the masses, to those online, that, to everyone that had an email address and gave them the opportunity to almost create a collaborative infrastructure that was based upon temporal events. And at the time, that was pretty ahead of its time. With eCal, I think that the disruption was is that you didn't need to have an application residing on your computer in order to have feature-rich calendaring and collaboration capabilities. The inception of eCal was based upon the fact that as an entrepreneur, I was going to a lot of trade shows and conferences and it was very, very difficult, especially in the international trade show space and world, to be able to schedule appointments with people whom I didn't have a direct relationship with. And at a trade show, it was difficult to manage those contacts away from my desk. So ECAL was started on the, on the premise of why not have a common calendar posted online, almost like a simple sign-up sheet that would enable, on a first-come, first-served basis, a group of people, if they had one URL, the ability to put their name on a list, so to speak. And that was the inception and the premise behind eCal, which grew into something substantially more.